In 96, I graduated from River Forest High School, um, valedictorian, and then I went on to um, attend Indiana University in the fall of 96. And uh, I was uh, in a car accident shortly after arriving on campus, and um, it just kind of changed everything that I had in my future. I didn't really understand what it was to have a disability. I didn't really know anything about um, the disabled community. And so I quickly sought some resources and one of them was um, wheelchair athletics. And when I moved back to Northwest Indiana, I got involved through the Chicago program of RIC Express and started playing on a women's team. Um, and through there, I learned about all of the possibilities of sport um, with having a disability. And so I learned about the Paralympics quickly after. And I, it seemed like everything changed. I went to the University of Illinois to do my graduate work, as well as um, play on the, the women's basketball team. And I was selected to my first Paralympic team in 1999 and then competed in the Sydney Games in 2000. My first Paralympic experience was amazing. I mean, there's nothing that could prepare you for an event like that. Um, you hear, you know, just entering the stadium for the opening ceremonies, you just hear the crowd chanting USA, like our whole delegation was pumped and everybody's screaming and it's just, it's incredible. And I think the first Paralympic experience that I had was just, um, overwhelming but obviously in a great way uh, and it wasn't until my um, second Paralympic experience in Athens where I really was able to focus more on on the sport um, unfortunately we placed fifth in Sydney um, and I think that had a lot to do with a lot of us being new and having that being our first Paralympics um, Paralympic Games and then in Athens we were able to kind of hone in on on the games itself. 2007 I coached at the University of Illinois. Um, I was the first women's uh, wheelchair basketball intercollegiate coach and then 2008 I played in the Beijing games. I went on to play in the um, professional league overseas in Europe they have a professional wheelchair basketball league and I played for RSV Landell which is in Germany and I played one season with them and then afterwards I came back played one year with the Denver Rolling Nuggets and um, we won the championship game with me making the game winning shot <laughs> with two seconds left. And then after that I, you know, getting older in age, I really wanted to settle down and have a family. Basketball took um, my, it was my first priority for so many years that I kind of pushed everything else to the side and so just getting up there in age I was ready to, you know, find my match and settle down and have have a family. You know, winning gold medals I thought was the most incredible experience in my life, but it was my daughter and um, you know, it was it was all kind of uh, interesting, I guess, because um, ha having a disability, I didn't really know how my pregnancy would go. I didn't re you know, understand like certain aspects of pregnancy and I didn't um, compare myself to able-bodied women just because I know that our experiences were different. So I was kind of the guinea pig um, amongst my friends in the disabled community and I quickly found a doctor that um, had experience with spinal cord injuries and pregnancies and and so it was just all incredible just going through the journey of being pregnant and then being able to deliver her naturally um, you know, unfortunately she spent some time in the NICU, but now she's just, uh, she's just incredible. She's amazing. It's, um, you know, there's just the love that you have for your kid that you never knew existed. And, and she inspires me to, you know, stay healthy because just both for my husband and I, I'd like for us to have long lives with her. And, um, you know, I just want to make really good choices for her. Many of us have faced um, some tragedy in our lives where we have to overcome it and it takes a lot. You know, it's not easy at first and um, you just have to find the support um, around you and people that are going to support you to, to overcome that tragedy. 
um, but you just can't give up. You, you have to know that there's light at the end of the tunnel, that there are people and opportunities there waiting for you. You just have to seek them out, as hard as it is in the beginning.